just seeing dead bodies on the oh, dead bodies on the rocks on the beach, bodies in the in the car. There was a kid underneath the, a car on Front Street. Looked like his dad was trying to protect him, but they just was burnt. And then before the fire even got to this side, there were people running towards our house. Like their hair looked like it just got burned. Their face was all black. And then they're just, they're just all just sweat running towards us. Pilat Haufa is a farmer who was killed by the Lahai families. He also lost a close friend. I got an auntie and an uncle, a family of four. Their daughter and their grandson, seven years old. They were caught in the fire down there. They were trying to get away, but a telephone. They were in the car. I guess telephone just fell in their car, and they couldn't. They just stuck inside. They got burned. We were finally able to enter the town of Lahaina, where we're witnessing its utter devastation. And residents keep saying that it will take years before they can fully rebuild. This is Jennifer's family fleeing the fire after the first time returning to Lahaina. She says she doesn't know what to do. A bomb went off. It's it's the end of every of all of it. It's gone. It's it's gone. It's so weird. It's our home. We've lived here thirty years. Our kids were born here. We just don't know the next steps.